Hello, welcome back to the Charmio YouTube channel, Jack here. So, in the previous video, I had a few requests in the comments to show everyone how to make the two-sided panorama HDR map that I had shown off in the previous video and the idea for which I stole from Meili O oh over at the Secret Store by watching her Twitch. Um, she doesn't show exactly how to do it, so I'm gonna, I figured it out in Photoshop uh, the other day. Start using it, loving it. So I'm going to show you how to put together this two-sided panorama using the panoramics panorama from Substance Painter in order to do it yourself. So what we're going to do, we're already in Substance Painter. We're going to go down to the shelf, go to environments. Here's where they keep all the HDR maps. We're going to start off with the panorama. And we're just going to show, we're going to right click, hit show in Explorer, and this is going to find it in, find it in its folder for us, okay? And normally, um, normally you will be able to just drag this into Photoshop. Here's one I did trying to record, but then everything was a bit too bad quality, so I had to stop. So I'm going to close that one first. And I'm going to re-employ again. There you go. So you're going to open up your panorama in Photoshop. First thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go up to View. I believe it is in English. New um, guide layout, new set of guides, something like that. It's just under New Guide. And this one here allows you to make a little list. You want four columns, one row. This will come out looking like this. So once you've got your row set up, you're going to double click, unlock the first layer. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the left side over here, we're going to right click, layer by copy, go to the move tool. So we've basically cut out one half of it and made a copy. And we're going to move that half onto the other half. Okay. Once you've got this over here, you're going to make a mask. This little button down here makes a layer mask. Then you get your gradient tool and you're just going to use the gradient tool to mark, make a nice smooth mask masking out this side. So now we've got the original sun that was over here and we've got half of a sun again in the middle. Now all you've got to do is do the same with the other side. So this time we're going to take the, oh, it's not quite right. Ooh, we're going to take the right side using the guides to get the selection nice and clean. Right click, layer by copy, back to the move tool, which is V on the keyboard. Shift to keep it moving in a straight line. But actually, I think you could go like this, and then the guides will help you get it in place. Pop it over from the right side to the left side. Mask button, gradient tool. Make a nice smooth mask. Oh, yeah, that should be it. And then turn on your other layer again. Gonna hide the guide so we can see it properly. And here you go, there's your two-sided panorama. Now you've, all you've got to do is Control shift s as we know from the previous tutorial, to save this new panorama. I'm gonna go save it just in, save it in my YouTube folder for Chimere. We're gonna save it as a HDR map. We're gonna call it Panorama two-sided, yay, yay. Press enter or just save, that'll save it out. Then all we've got to do, we're gonna go back to Substance Painter, we're gonna go to File, Import Resources, Add Resources, opens up, you find where you saved it, uh, double click, and then once it's in here, You've got your file, you've got to go where it says undefined, you've got to set it as an environment. Import your resources, you want to put it in shelf shelf, that will put it automatically into the environment shelf down here. There you go, there's the imported one. That means you'll be able to click on here and you'll have them. I've got about three different copies now from the original one I did and trying to record this tutorial. So it will take a moment to load. Here you go, it's, oh, now we're saving, of course we are. 
Here we go. So now the panorama is imported in and you'll be able to see if we hold down, if we press the shift and the right click, we're able to just move our mouse around in order to move the environment. You see we've got twice as much sun as we normally would and we're nice and well lit from all angles. So there's how you do your two-sided HDR map. You can do that with any of the maps here, but you will have to think about the way that where the sun is located. So on this panorama, the sun was located at the edges of the map. But for instance, if we look down, for instance, at Canopus something, Canopus ground, you can see the sun is in the middle. So what you're going to have to do in that situation is the exact same thing, actually. But you're going to have to be careful about which direction you do the mask on the gradient with. So say, for instance, this canopus ground, split it into four. You take the um, right side, move it over to the left, and then make sure you're masking it so it's white on the side of the image going dark into the middle. OK, so should be able to use that technique to change any of the HDR maps into a two sided one. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or requests, pop them into the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe and do all those things that YouTubers tell you to do. Okay? Bye!